right now. We- Screw this. Right. Okay, go on, go on, we're going. We need to turn the cameras around and interview this man. No. <laughs> yes. Never. Never. Yeah. Never. Never. Not on your time, no. That's not there. <laughs> right, go on. People who are watching, please introduce yourself, who you are, what you do, all that stuff. That'll be awesome. Go on. Oh, brag, humble. Brag. No, brag. Don't be humble. No. Brag about it. Brag I'm about it. Dark. I'm a drummer. Um, I drum for Baby Shambles, most known. Adamant and the crack, the suffragettes. No, they just Adamant. Yeah. Oh, when? <laughs> research, <laughs> baby, research. <laughs> no, I, I I picked up on like baby shambles and suffragettes. I didn't know about Adamant. That's that's really cool. Yeah, and I did. Was that? Um. Oh God, Lord. Um. I I don't know. Is that okay? That's Do I totally not? Fine. Don't know. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> It was about a year, so he was off the scene. He came, contacted me and asked to put a new project together with him. And he wanted a girl band behind him singing a new album, which I thought was amazing. Yeah. I've grown up on Adamant, love him. Um, And yeah, because of the suffragettes, I said, yeah, I'll put a girl band together. Yeah. And we rehearsed like 12 hours a day, seven days a week. We'd smash this album. Um, and it never came off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, but it was about, yeah, it was about eight months of rehearsals. Um, and he decided to go with his, uh, an old band to tour the old albums instead. <sighs> We're still quite friendly though. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was really worried then. <laughs> I was really scared to hear that part out. No, it wasn't really a nasty bad ending. ending. Okay, no, cool. No, no, it was not a bad ending. It was a uh, best for all parties, but okay. a really, really, really good era. Good totally. time in my life. I mean, it I was, was caught off guard with that because, like, my mum used to play him a lot growing up, and I saw him live a few years ago now at Roundhouse. Yeah, so I, yeah, yeah, I know them. The girl, it's uh, a girl. Yeah, mad blonde hair. <laughs> mad. Yeah. Awesome. Not, not, yeah. not bad mad. Great mad. Like, yeah, oh, amazing. No, so we, um, so again, Adam fans back in the day would know he always had more than one drummer. Yeah, yes. Ola and I were working as the two drummers for this girl band thing. Mate. So yeah, we drum together. It was really cool. We're really long That's time. Yeah. Sick. That's cool. <laughs> I didn't know. Like nothing I found told me that. That's awesome. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Fair enough. It was great. Yeah, my band that we I put together after um, we supported him actually at Scala. Nice. Great. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you brag <laughs> i don't do bragging i'm really bad at bragging no, i'm bad at bragging i'm bad no. at bragging don't worry about it i mean do you want to brag some more because i found out something else pretty cool about you through luke i had no idea alongside juice box that you booked at nambuka that's mad I, to me yeah it was our family we owned it that's it can, can we chat about that because like i because i'm a student in london i've heard of that bar i haven't been to that bar i've tried to go to that bar but i couldn't make it for yeah reasons on the night of me <laughs> having too much before going to the bar but of course <laughs> i wish i went i i'm gonna go after all this thing is is passed because i yeah. really want to go because it'll be great either as a performer do you, do you still do gigs there i'm not sure but does anywhere still do gigs it's I, more to I, the that's, a, that's a great <laughs> response and i'll leave it at that before we get too sad about it either way so i read a cheeky little article that said at one point you hop from the bar on stage to play drums with Pete impromptu. That's <laughs> sweet. That's so sweet. So you... Yeah. <laughs> go on, go, go on. It's okay. No, I was just, I mean, I was going to ask you, was it weird from that transition of being a drummer and like seeing all these places and playing all these songs and all these crowds and sort of transitioning back to sort of being working behind the scenes? Was that a weird or was it seamless? Or... No. Do you know what? So my family own a rehearsal studio in London. Yeah. Um, and I grew up around there, so that's how I know Peter from yeah. when he first came to London, because um, they were at my studio and formed there. Um, so then I went on and was in shambles for a long time, and then yeah. after that, I still kept playing, but my dad, um, he's quite famous, everybody knows him, and he's wild ideas, but he decided, oh no, we've not got our hands full enough with a studio, let's get a pub. <laughs> so we did. We bought Nambuka. Um, it had a really epic fire. I don't know if you got that. In the, yeah, the I, I, that, that was sad. I, Absolutely horrendous. Yeah. Particularly 
because we just bought it and uh, the insurance wasn't quite in place. No, I can imagine <laughs> not so much. Yeah, so we put, yeah, whatever. But anyway, it came back bigger and better two years later. Um, and all my friends moved into the flats because there was 10 flats. Uh, and I was like the Barbara Windsor, like, landlady <laughs> just walking about a fag in your yeah. <laughs> no 100 percent. like i'd never pulled a pint in my life for the first few weeks if the barrel check if i needed to change a barrel i used to offer a free pint to anyone that would come and help me nice. change the barrel <laughs> and they're like don't you have a manager i'm like yes yeah, me yes me <laughs> no, never changed a barrel in my life but no it was amazing and then of course consequently you're always, always going to put bands on yeah so we got like the best PA. It was a, a, way too powerful for that room, but it was incredible. And um, yeah, I would just, it would be ringing friends up all the time. Like, do me a favor, come and do a gig, come and do a gig. And uh, oh, we had some great bands. And Rachel and Luke were, were booking with oh. us um, and for us at one point as well. Mm. Um, yeah, and so Peter played an acoustic show and um, I did like swear before, I was like, I'm just a barmaid now, right? <laughs> no right. one here like leave me out of it do your show because i want to watch it i want to yeah. see and i think he made it through like three quarters of the set but a lot of the fans had seen me and were talking to me before the gig That's so sweet, though. it That's was so lovely sweet. yeah but like i hadn't played with peter for like four or five years i was not ready for this <laughs> and like i could hear through the walls this chant and my dad oh. or the security came in to like germ the chant in you i was like oh, no. <laughs> i can't do this so i did i went up and it was just peter on acoustic and me on the house kit um with that had no symbols or anything it was, was just say like, it must be just a, like bare yes <laughs> like some broken <laughs> sticks I found on the floor and we just played like for ages i think yeah. We definitely did Wolfman because that was like my favourite. <laughs> but yeah, it was pretty epic night actually. It was really like a proper buzz in that room after. Yeah. And I'm there in my little staff t shirt, you know, like <laughs> so bad. Like, oh, oh my God, you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, everyone's so embarrassed. I'm just going to go back and clear the, the empty glasses now, okay? That's, like, okay, that's humble. That's humble. <laughs> No, that's God. the humble part that's the humble part yeah i mean like would that be like aside from that or even if it was that if you had to choose what would be like the top achievement there because that's pretty beautiful to have that moment i feel like in your life let alone as just a musician as an experience like would yeah. that be up well, there or there's so many moments that you can't choose from yeah it's pretty close to that because i'm a lifelong music fan yeah. so lots of the things that I think I'm really lucky that I've done yeah. I literally and yeah I was trying to think but I, I couldn't tell you what's the biggest achievement there's a handful of them totally. like I grew up on top of the pops uh, top of the pops every yeah. Friday 7 30 without fail and then Saturday morning see the UK well I did both with Peter and shambles yeah. like we nearly didn't get to do top of the pops it's okay <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonder why <laughs> yeah well yeah no prizes for guessing no. um but yeah we what we're now actually on the tv was um a pre-record right we, we did in the afternoon but you know i that's still, still did a win that's a win that's a <laughs> yeah, win a win and cd uk again we the, the whole performance nearly got ended because peter tried to crowd surf Come on, and there was like right like teenage girls <laughs> and they they didn't know what was happening so they kind of parted and he hit the deck <laughs> and we weren't prepared for a, like an impromptu jam we just carried on with the next chorus nice. like uh pete is it right is it okay <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah yeah no I, i've done glastonbury download yeah. all the things all the places that i've ever wanted to do and, and love to go and i still do i'm a music fan and yeah. I managed to play all of those on big stages, which is still epic. Just yeah. on a daily basis, I can think about what I've done and it's, yeah, it's amazing. I'm really proud of it. <laughs> Good. It's, it's, it's sweet. I mean, like I always have, like, I always tend to ask guests these sort of questions because like, not only does it, I see it makes them happy, makes me happy too. Cause it kind of like makes me want to go for it too. If you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like yes. I want to be able to say, Oh yeah. I'd done Glastonbury 
I'm going to swear here. F- yeah. Like, yeah, we always, I say we, because it's never really been, music has never been me on my own. It's, a, it's such a family totally, thing. Yeah. Um, we, as a band, so The Crack, are like still my best friends in the world. Um, and we managed to get ourselves a slot on the Saturday morning at Leftfield Stage. Um, but they had two hours and they said to us, you can do with it what you want. Yeah. So we were like, we can't play for two hours. Two hours. Like, what are we going to do? So we shared it. We filled that two hours to every single musician and artist that we knew to get up on stage with us and jam. So no one ever, the stage was never empty for two hours. We had rappers, we had pop stars, we had all sorts up with us. And at the last song, we had Beans on Toast with, that was with us, Jay. Nice. Yeah, even my brother, who's who's not a rapper or an MC in any way, but yeah, so my dad was on stage. It was just, and do you know what I mean? Two hours of sharing what we'd been given yeah. with us people as we could it was just epic like that set and then we headlined it that night so. <laughs> nice well they're like two hours behind the kit was you behind the kit that night too that no, oh, oh. i was gonna say jesus <laughs> <laughs> no we jammed with loads of different people so we did a song um you know paloma paloma faith she came out with a song called upside oh, down oh yeah and upside down was actually written by a really close friend of ours bell humble and yes. bell just written that as to her like this is my songwriting um you know demo yeah. and we called her up on stage and we played that song with her we rehearsed it and um yeah a year later or two years later paloma faith was singing that very song That's so good. i like to think it came from glastonbury that that one there uh, nice. that one day <laughs> but it's That's, all shit. Yeah. yeah i don't ever see that i've done this myself i do this uh, it, it's never that I've got a massive team of friends and family tight behind that share it all. It's not, it's not a soul thing at all. Never. Humble. Humble. (laughs) I'm not rock enough, am I? Oh, (laughs) people, people confuse what rock and roll means these days. Honestly, I'm being truthful. Yeah. You can bend it. Rock and roll could be anything you like. I think being, just being, (laughs) this sounds quite like, not generic to say, but quite like, oh, right. I think just being nice is quite rock and roll by these standards yeah. at this point. Just well, being... Dave Grohl, come on. The nicest literally, man. Literally, one of the nicest, hardest working blokes in the universe. Yeah. Lovely soul. He's rock and roll through and through. You can't beat exactly. that. Exactly. He just doesn't fit that stereotype. No, yeah, exactly. Sex pistols and the who and stuff, throwing stuff out of windows and. Pretty fun. In but... Women paws. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done that. Okay, right, I'm a so, girl. I can't break rules like that. You are saying this while literally balancing your phone on the bottom of Jack Daniels. You know that, right? <laughs> You're literally... Um, look, it is in a Wilkes stock. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's a sponsor. Look at that. <laughs> so Wilkes stock and Jack Daniels. Perfect pairing. <laughs> I'm going to have a drink later on. You've inspired oh, me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You've inspired <laughs> me. I was trying to be good until tomorrow night, but... What's happening tomorrow? nothing exactly <laughs> it's just friday <laughs> like, i'm gonna spend the night in the kitchen in bed ignoring <laughs> everyone <laughs> like, it's beautiful i love it i love my Do you know what though this is for you and anyone um our studio ruse um we do live stream gigs now awesome through the lockdown um and it's every friday night about nine o'clock i think so yeah find nice. it on and have a look because we have some wicked bands yeah live stream from nice. social distance room and everyone's like out the way so yeah <laughs> distance <laughs> do you have because you mentioned to me you're in a barn right now half kitchen well not half quarter was it quarter barn it's a little bit of everything <laughs> everything is there room for a kit in there or is that like are you just like a hundred percent space okay. for yeah, I've already eyed that up with my dad. <laughs> nice. Okay. It's going to involve a lot of work because it is just a barn, right. but with like suspended ceilings and stuff. Yeah. I don't think my horses are going to be interested in my drumming. <laughs> I mean, like, it's good to know, like, the passion isn't totally dead for it, though, you know? Yeah. Like, just joining my entire life here to be drums and horses all in one. Like, <laughs> they will be the band for you. They'll yeah. Gallop, they'll gallop around you. <laughs> as you play and you'll like summon them like, now that would be rock and roll I'd that be would be, that <laughs> is rock and roll if you could control horses with a drum kit 
<laughs> oh my god! Oh, what are we I'm even so... talking about? I, I, how can you do that? Like, <laughs> where have we gone? Where is this tangent? tangent. I have, I've had zero Jack. I, 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 <laughs> I love it. I, I can't agree. I have not had zero Jack. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I'm not drunk. <laughs> god, <laughs> just have to clarify for people. I'm not drunk. I swear. I'm not. Drunk. Oh, I'm not leading you astray in any way. I'm looking at my Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> Just like shaking hands. And uh, <laughs> is there any like, is there any like musical projects you're working on right now at all? I'm wondering. Or There, there actually is. Okay. <laughs> I can't name it because okay. for whatever virus related reasons, there's not been enough uh, jams to actually, you know, that point where you're like, are we boyfriend girlfriend? You never say that, do you? Yeah, you don't because it's over. You bring yeah. it. You, you manifest it that way. It yeah. just thought, well, if there was no virus, <laughs> it would probably have just happened <laughs> because there is such a virus, and uh, I can't drum over Zoom yet. Yet, um, we have to have that actual conversation, and that conversation has not happened yet. But <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's a wicked band, nice. and I absolutely love them. I've got a proper teenage musical crush on this band i'd mug myself off like oh i'm in this new band and then actually they're like mm, sorry Jem, mm. not the one so I, I can't go there yet okay but i'm Fair sure enough. they'll be watching so <laughs> don't <laughs> let, let us stay <laughs> let us stay lads lasses whoever you are <laughs> yeah. whatever gender or sex <laughs> Jem is great i've done it for half an hour and it's already amazing don't do it <laughs> Whatever you're going to do. Yeah, come on. So I'm in your corner, don't worry. <laughs> but no, about it's, it. it's the first time I've had um, a, a jam, more than one, but that has yeah. been absolutely spot on. Nice. It was so, a really, really good band. And uh, yeah, I've not, I've not been in an official band for a very long time now. Yeah. And these guys made me, you know, dust off the, the drumsticks and... Um, I can feel the energy again, you know? Like, I really want to get drumming That's again. sick. Yeah. But blimmin' corona. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Here we go. Beautiful. Rock on. Rock on. <laughs> Do you have Rock any... My last little quick question, I was going to ask you, like, is there any, like, new music, like a local artist you've listened to? Do you have local music scenes near you, wherever you are in... Well... Yes, and obviously yeah. not right now, but like... <laughs> Yeah, I've got horsey musical scenes now. Um, so I actually can't vouch for where I live now because we only moved here in March last year right, yeah. and spent most of the summer in lockdown. Um, but it's about 45 minutes from where I did live. There wasn't very much there. It, right. it's so on the edge of London where I lived, if you was in a band, everyone would just jump the train and go into London to there. Yeah. But um, 20 minutes the opposite other direction and I'd be at the horn. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'd go that way, if not. No Wilkstock's one of my favourites as well. It's great. I, I still haven't... I'm supposed to go this year, obviously, but oh, I've, well, never, yeah. I've never been, so, like... It's absolutely perfect. I feel, it like, does it, I feel like it's a christening. You... Yes! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I saw Dutty Moonshine. Nice. It wasn't a year before. I love them. I absolutely love them. And I took my two children, and they were, like, three and five, their first ever festival. That's great. Yeah, oh, it was just wicked. It was great. I had a couple of my friends were playing, so they helped me with childcare. <laughs> like, buggies around, like, come on, kids. Woo! No, they loved it. So, yeah, Wilkstock is going to be our, like, annual pilgrimage for the kids. Beautiful. Well, whenever anyone's allowed to go again. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Fingers soon. crossed. And I'll bring my little cup. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just walk it's around like... Through lockdown. <laughs> I need to go because I need to bring my car. <laughs> Talk at the door about your ticket. Hey, I, hello. Like, I'm a fan. I brought my car. It's like that bit in Wayne's World when they walk around with like their VIP passes. Like, yeah. got a car. And I brought my car on a lanyard. Yeah, it's like, fill me up, fill me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You might have to edit that bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I, to keep things. <laughs> Quick and to the point, less and short and beautiful. I think that's a perfect note to end it on. Is there anything else you want to throw in or discuss? Because, like, yeah, put the cup on a lanyard, cut. It's beautiful, <laughs> perfect. It's absolutely oh, that, perfect. That tickled me. That really tickled me. <laughs>